Welcome back to Factorio C Block, and I've been making lots and lots more landfill in the break between episodes. And here we got some more landfill down there just to pick up. As you can see, all this crushed stone is coming over here. We'll see where this line's coming from in a second. And it's going straight into our ore system. None of it is, is really making it through to this green algae. Well, not very much. Which means, of course, our fuel system is not, again, doing very much on this side of things. However, our previous island ended here. Now we have much more space from more landfill. I can use the rest of it just to try and uh, complete more of this if we can. Let's just drag, make sure I'm dragging this straight line. Yep, it's taking a while. <laughs> but we now have four steam engines and they are on the go. They do have enough fuel. We've got... Uh, Ooh, that's depleting a little bit, so I think I may have to keep an eye on that. And then we've got a whole independent setup. So this independent setup we've got for electrolyzers, they're making, producing crushed stone in electrified crushers, which are keeping the liquefier setup going, which is keeping these algae farms going, because all this is literally prioritizing the crushed stone to the algae farms. Anything excess is going the other way and heading back across to our ore system. So that's going over here, and instead of trying to spend on blue inserters, I'm just going with three yellows on each one. Um, easier ingredients to make, and then of course they're going fed into a furnace, producing the charcoal, and that charcoal is running down here, and back up into this system here, where it's getting produced into uh, into our more well into our regular carbon blocks, which is then feeding the steam engines. So now that we've got that whole setup over there, and this isn't really getting much crushed stone, I think what we can do is just get rid of these, for the most part. Um, yeah, that isn't linking to anywhere, is it? So that it can all be ripped up, as can this liquefier setup, as indeed can uh, a lot of this. So we can get rid of all of this uh, sort of infrastructure and save the space. And we can then just actually insert probably more of this sort of electrolyzer setups if we wanted to. Um, we're going to need water to continually be fed in there, but um, these should be fine. They're inserting crushed stone as much as possible into our ore system. So on this side of things, we can take you out and we can take these out. And we may have to put them back in, but uh, just over on the other side of the island. That's, uh, again, not too much of a problem to do that. Uh, but it does feel so much nicer to do a little bit of rearranging just to keep everything nice and efficient. There we go. So all of our, our coal, uh, I almost want to go there instead of going this way. Yeah, yeah just my, my need to fix things. Um, all of our coal, coal or carbon, whatever you want to quite actually call it for the steam engines, is now coming from that other setup and not over here. Which sort of means, and when we look at the, the stuff over here as well, that, uh, let me just make sure I disconnect all these. Uh, that may be fine. Uh, yeah, that looks okay. Uh, all this carbon dioxide as well isn't being used. So that should free up another couple of... Uh, is it the assembly machines or the chemical plant? Uh, liquid flyers, liquefiers even. So we can just take that up, I think. And again, we can take this up and this up. And our carbon dioxide... Uh, can we pull that from over here? Is there enough going in here? Because we're feeding carbon in to this, and it's going there before it goes to the fuel. So we always have a supply of carbon dioxide. We're going to need to make sure we maintain a supply of carbon dioxide, but just to this one um, machine, at least at the moment. We may need to replace that in a short while, but we can... Um, we can sort it out temporarily, and I don't need, even need this box now as any kind of buffer. So, again, we can get a lot of this infrastructure back that we don't need anymore. Or at least, I hope we don't need anymore. <laughs> we are going to need, however, that uh, this carbon dioxide to be hooked up. So let's just bring that to where we might expect it. And um, that would seem to be around here... I want to say, and then I guess we've got to go underground. So I've got to build just a, a pair of underground belts. And then we can, of course, go, as you might expect, and connect up that way. 
and then we can connect to carbon dioxide this way and that should go back to our fuel system now we just need to go on the ground here to here and uh, everything should be fixed in theory depends how much carbon dioxide is being produced by this liquefier can we just get away with one mm. it hasn't got enough charcoal yet it, it does this this stuff in batches so we've got to watch it to make sure it isn't all being depleted but you know we can keep an eye on it and if if that works well then uh, we can get rid of the rest so we also going to want to refuel our furnaces for ore and then bulk up the ore production to try and get more of this stuff going so let's just grab a few pieces of carbon which is quite efficient and just place that in there we've got 300 in the buffer and this hopefully will will continue to build back. I think it, we're probably just about even, maybe losing a bit, so we're gonna have to set up more algae farms up here and rearrange this setup once I, once I keep it going. But for, for now, let's get on with uh, ore production uh, because that is sort of holding me back. I've got the science pack system off while I get enough, um, frankly, iron plate to be able to build various buildings. But of course, we just reclaimed a bunch so before we put them back down, we can at least use them temporarily. So if I wanted to, um, uh, what's holding you back? Why aren't you picking that up? Is it just because everything's back stuffed? Uh, interesting. That would be working, isn't it? Unless I'm just missing something. Hmm. I will, uh, oh yeah, it can't, uh, it can't put output uh, the, this assembly machine. So it's not asking for any more ingredients. That's what, <laughs> that's what's going on. Okay. So we need to go and get more ingredients, which means we need, uh, more setups for cl crystallizing clearly, which just needs some crushed stone and it needs some water from this liquefier. Okay, so on this side, it seems to be going pretty well over there where we have one-to-one. -one. So the ore crusher uh, seems to have more output than input. So um, this actually is a good point. That's not, not feeding fast enough. Uh, can we get uh, something fitting in here to feed, feed this much, much faster to get more and more stone out of here? Let's see what they go like if we supply them at full speed. So let's just feed them manually. Okay, so is that going to produce that a lot faster? Yes, it is. And in turn, we need to get rid of all that, or rid of all that pretty quickly. So uh, if we do have one to one like this, we need to prioritize getting all of the uh, ore out of here and straight into these crushes as quickly as possible and then straight out the other side. So you can see here at this side, uh, we're actually doing fine with these. Uh, we, we've got two inserters feeding out, two feeding into these, uh, which will be the same as direct insertion. So we'll save a couple of uh, inserters and then two on the output side as well. So we're going to need to have a pipe network here somewhere that uh, saves some space. Can we actually do that? Because then we can convert the others over to using the same layout. So if we had this, um, do I need to do anything here? I think I need to leave at least one space, don't I? Yeah, so we can just put a power pole here and we'll get power and then we'll be able to feed outwards. So if we do the same as we've done previously and do that, then we're going to have problems with. Yeah, we're going to have problems with the output because we need to feed two of these. And we can't get an actual underground pipe to ground here without moving down. And you can do that. So we can take that one out and put it here. And, I, and people do say in the comments, hey, if you do this, uh, you've got problems when you try to get it to extend its reach and all kinds of other things. So, um, yes, we can. I guess we could put it here and say you should pick up from there and then extend two outwards. No, it's still too far. Hmm. Okay, and one short rearrangement later, this seems to work for reasons of power pole placement to feed these inserters and um, for reasons of the these pipework, 
we need to kind of ha actually do it this way. Uh, we could uh, still do it with direct insertion. That's no problem whatsoever. It's just that uh, we need to move this out again, and we're not ready to do that because of this liquefier and crystallizer in the way. So this works perfectly fine at the moment. And let's just grab the other electrolyzer. Uh, we need to make sure we're going to get one, one gap again, which means I need to move these things. Let's just move this down one. And then we're running up against our size limits. So at least this will keep everything going. Uh, where's that electrolyzer gone? There we go. So just let's set this up. Um, it would be nice if, uh, if you fit. Why won't you fit? Is it just still not too? Yeah, still too big. So we're going to have to move these this stuff out if we want even more. However, uh, I think with this one, we could put them on. Uh, we can't change the we can't change the side yet. We don't have that research. So what we're going to have to do is just a funky something like this and then that will work. So that's feeding on the left side of the belt. The others are all dropping on the right hand side of the belt. And of course, everything is now backing up because we've got quite a lot more, quite a lot more uh, stuff coming in, um, slag essentially, and uh, not enough going out. So now we need another liquefier again. Uh, liquefier and then i've had this done before but remember we didn't quite need it before now we kind of sort of do so if we put one here and one here uh we've got to go underground here so we've got to be a bit careful about where we put everything but we can feed stuff in uh copy that recipe across and then we're going to need some stone pipes and we may just be able to use the you know the, the regular don't go pipe to ground something like that and go down here and then just feed in two on this side in fact we can't quite do that oh that's going to be a problem uh oh maybe not let's just you're not going to connect no but i'm going to need your space and your space oh dear <laughs> we're going to need to get something to them and this is why these work so well they are rotating and going shorter at the same time but really sort of constrained for space here and what we do with um what we do with all this pipe work um we just don't have the space so i'm gonna have to play with this a little bit and we can feed directly in at this top side just by putting um stuff here and they'll work fine uh once we have water input and the water input we just need a pipe to ground and then maybe some more pipes. So yeah, we need a pipe to ground there. We could maybe get away without it. We could put the power poles there and then just go with straight pipe. But for now, it will be fine. And then we want, obviously, the same thing going here. Are they, is they feeding each other? That means we're going to need one more, isn't it? Yeah, they are actually connected. Good. So all of this should now be processing, which it is. And that should be working. So let's just see these two are both feeding this center one. Top two are feeding this one. There's two here. So we're also going to need, uh, I don't know, maybe two here. Not sure if we can get that sorted, but uh, something like that will do. So how do we do this? Uh, one there, one there and then one of the other type and that should let us have three of these connected and then of course we're going to need to try and well i guess we can we can just do it like this and just do the same thing as we did at the top to have that work so each of them has got two inserters working there's just probably not enough crushed stone coming through just because everything's backing up behind these ore crushers now so what do we do from that so from this point we're just making landfill here uh, we are actually getting landfill from mud down there, so we are getting some of it. It's not as fast by any means, but it is there. So if we wanted even more crushed stone, we could just feed out of that. And in fact, we could even get slag working there and move this overall. But uh, let me just grab some more fuel. How's our fuel doing? Uh, you see, it is actually getting lower, so we are going to need to put uh, at least one more algae farm back in and see how well that goes. So let's just feed you both again, pick up some more iron plate, and then I'm going to put, well, try and get the algae farm back down somewhere, 
and uh, hopefully get this crystallizer running constantly. Um, hmm, actually. Is that just back? Oh, that was just backed up because of the furnace. No, that's fine. So uh, ideally, this pipe should be permanently full of the mineralized water if we have enough crushed stone. And then we can start scaling up the crystallizers. With all four algae farms in place, we're now getting a fuel excess again, which is nicely piling up here. I've rearranged things a little bit, and I probably will rearrange things a little more here, probably to move these chemical plants. I've replaced the liquefiers with chemical plants. They're a bit faster at crafting uh, carbon dioxide. So we're going to move them over here, probably, something like that, and then have this here or somewhere around here so that we can just convert them into carbon, and then we can extend this, this these line of steam engines out. Now... Unfortunately, that's only just a little bit of an excess. So I'm a bit wary of scaling up on steam like this because if this sort of setup, and this isn't space optimized, obviously, it's just to show you that the whole thing is mirrored more than anything else. Um, if this is, is the equivalent of four steam engines worth of carbon, because we're not really using it for anything else. Occasionally, I'm taking stuff across for the, uh, the furnaces, but that's quite spacious. So to scale the, the, our power up, have a look at how much power we're using. You can see we're not far away from cap, so we, we've got to be a little bit careful over it. And that may mean that we need to scale up this an awful lot more. And compounded to that, we're also going to need even more algae farms. And I think I'm going to just temporarily put them around this kind of area here. In at least, we need at least one because we're going to want, um, if I let's put it down, has it been built? Yes, it has. Uh, we're going to want the, uh, what is it called? The stuff that we can generate infinite amounts of uh, cellulose fiber. And we're going to want that to, uh, to make our basic boards. You see this, in fact, let's go and take care of that infrastructure first, because we can get rid of that. And that's a good point, actually. Should I actually put this stuff down here? Let's just pull this up. And uh, it's down here just because we've got this brown algae. And this brown algae comes off this, so maybe I should build down in this direction. So let's just pick up you for a second. And same, oh, that's, Got six thousand brown algae in my inventory now. Okay, let me just put that chest back down. Uh, where are you? There you are. And put all you away. Okay, so we're going to want to make eventually, or at least coming up soon, these electronic circuits. So let's trace those back. Uh, electronic circuits, and they'll let us build things quite freely, like blue inserters. So, they take some iron, some iron we can get from elsewhere, basic electronic boards, which we have to go back through solder. We're going to have to figure out resin and solder plates and stuff like that. But even before that, it'd be useful to be able to automate this first, the basic circuit board. So for this, we need copper and we need wooden boards. <clears throat> wooden boards need paper, paper needs cellulose pulp, that needs alginic acid, this needs brown algae. All of that seemed, would, would seem to come from this one plant here. Except that we also need to leave this fiber as well. So we should get started with that. Now, what are the inputs we need? Is it uh, just carbon dioxide and mineralized water? Now, if you have a look at this one sort of belt here, you'll see there's no crushed stone on it anymore. And there was originally, because we only had two plants over here. So two of these electrolyzer is feeding four algae plants. So we don't really have much spare to make more mineralized water. So we're probably going to need even more of these electrolyzers just to, to feed another um, another plant. So why don't I rearrange this again to... We've got a little bit of space to move it somewhere now. And uh, put the clarifier back there, which should let us... Just extend that water pipe down. And why do you need to be there? Oh no, it's just the insert up. Ah, uh, that's slightly annoying. I want to get that a little bit closer if possible. Uh, that'll do for now. So yeah, we've got to clarify up and working and the water is going into our liquefiers just fine. But we're short on crushed stone from the rest of this stuff and we're going to have to rearrange that in the long term. Do I have another electrolyzer? I do, so we can get more, more slag out of this, but we are still going to need crushes 
to get the uh, the crushed stone. Let's just go with one to start off with. I've got a uh, burner ore crusher. Do I have enough materials for a regular crusher? I do. Let's make one of those. And then I guess I don't have enough landfill to fill this place out, unfortunately. What, uh, what's our supplies of landfill up to? 125. Uh, that, that may well help. Whoops. Let's just put this here. Put it out here and then something like that. Seems reasonable. At least to start with. So uh, we want some more pipe. So I'm going to have to get more of this made. The idea is there. And you'll just... Oh, I don't have much more of it I can make. I guess I can make copper pipe, but... I'd rather just use stone where possible. And I'll fix that later. Then we're going to want an electrolyzer just like before. Uh, so a long line with this. And then from there we can do our usual approach. But in this case, we're going to use a crusher. Um, or is it? Will it fit right next door? If I would just put them in line. I think it will. We can get it right there, or close enough. From there, we're then going to feed that directly into our algae plant. So the algae plant can come here, and I guess I'm going to have to get carbon dioxide into it somehow. Yeah, that's going to be the problematic one. We can feed it from over here. It's just quite a long way to come. Do I have anything closer? don't think I do. So we may have to rework this anyway and move it elsewhere and just feed the brown algae back. I can always feed that actually. Yeah, I can always feed that uh, en masse into a chest or something like that. So let's just uh, sort it that way out first. So I'm going to place that down over here and come back once I've got at least some of it up and running. OK, so we've got this set up and I've got some um, stone bricks being made. We just need a couple of flare stacks to be able to deal with this. And uh, I think I've got some more. Do I have enough uh, to get two? Hopefully I do. Oh, is my first that gone? Oh, it's still being made. Fine. So we can place the rest of it down anyway. So once everything is running, we'll get some green algae out of here. So then we can just pop that into, say, a uh, assembly machine. So we want to go from here to... What was our process? Let's go back. It's past paper, isn't it? And it's cellulose fiber and then cellulose pulp. pulp. So um, let's go for fiber first of all. Uh, in fact, no, we need to make that from a chemical plant. Whoops, I need to rearrange that a little bit. So chemical plant goes first. There we go. And we can tell it to get fiber. Yeah. And from there, we can then put this into here. And... Let's go from here to hydronic acid is the next step along. So it's pulp from this one and it's acid on this one. And then what I can probably do is just do something like this. And for now, we can just put that into a chest. So that should then make our pulp. From that, we want paper. So that's going to have to go a little bit further along. Paper. And from paper, we can go to wooden boards. And um, I'm going to need another assembly machine, aren't I? We can make one more. Uh, I've been doing some more research in the background. We've got uh, lights open now. And I guess I could just do cement processing. That is going to work just fine. And we're going to need to supply power to all of this, aren't we? Uh, the easiest way to get power is probably here and then just have a power line going over. So uh, we, with that other assembly machine, once it finishes building, we'll then be able to make the wooden boards. So that's this. And then all we then need some copper to combine the two. Yeah, there we go. So um, wooden board. And then we want copper from somewhere and finally combining it here. So if I just put a box, say something like here, and then we need to make two more assembly machines, but that's fine. I've just shut down the science, uh, sort of the science inserter here. It's not going to insert any metals. So just so I can pick up plenty more iron and make more machines. So we're going to need another couple of assembly machines. Let's make one of them. And we may be even be able to make this, the electronics assembly machine with, well, hopefully that will be able to make the 
copper cable because we can just dump the copper that I've been getting and quite a bit of it into this chest here and we can just use that as the feed for uh, the copper cable and we can actually just put that in now that uh, assembly machine is just coming off hopefully yeah there we go there it goes so that would be our cable and that will be the electronics assembly machine if that in turn makes cable just fine and then finally we have another assembly machine here once I get some more resources to make the final boards that will get us to this stage to get any further we're going to have to go into the soldier and the basic electronic components that's a whole other game of fun and games that we need tin for uh, which needs crushed bobmonium which needs bobmonium <laughs> and because bobmonium can't be found on the ground in c block we need to go via mineral sludge slag slurry now i have done this in, in my other series the angels and bobs so I, I may i'm hoping that most of you have probably seen that already so you know what's what's likely there so we have slag that we need to get we can get that from electrolyzers anytime you like sulfuric acid we can make with sulfur and we're getting that from the whole washing plant chain so that's building up quite nicely. Uh, there's a few hundred in there, 1.4 uh, K. So sulfuric acid, we have to go via sulfuric dioxide, but other than that, it's just oxygen and sulfur and then purified water, which we can already make. And then we can make slag slurry and start converting that across into other ores. And here we go, we have the whole chain working now. So we've got this electronic assembly machine. Uh, Obviously, it's faster, smaller, more compact, etc. Making the copper coil, that's in turn getting, you know, sort of added onto the rest of the production chain. And we're getting basic boards here, uh, basic circuit boards. So I can just run by and click those until we get a bot network up. And that's that's pretty good. Uh, that lets me shortcut uh, making inserters for one thing. I don't have to ever get that screen where uh, I have to basically forage from nothing to get an inserter. But we do still need iron, of course, and iron is pretty much the bottleneck at the moment. So fairly soon we're going to have to figure out how to bulk this up. Uh, at the moment, this isn't enough space, really, and I'm running out of, well, out of land space without massively rearranging things. Without nanobots, it's quite hard to rearrange things. So, uh, yeah, for the moment, I'll just keep coping with this. These do uh, these aren't unloading fast enough, to be honest. Uh, otherwise, these will keep things... Yeah, they need uh, more speed of unloading. So I can see, immediately see there's a gap there. There should be another inserter right there. But even with that, this has two. And that's still backing up. It's being unloaded, but not as quite as fast as perhaps it could be. So I guess we could build... Uh, I've got to get power into them somehow, but we could add more. And then we just have to get power in. Yeah, that'll work. So that's probably going to unload them pretty fast and get this crushed on out of here as fast as it can. We'll have to keep modifying that as we actually go forward. Uh, we've got, uh, you can, as you can probably see, we're starting to separate off into separate areas now that we have some land. So I've got the whole mud thing down here, our ore thing here. We've got our algae plant, or basically what is our fuel farm, in, in essence. And then now we've got the first sort of electronic farm. So we're coming up to time on this episode, but I think next episode we're going to carry on with the electronic stuff and head towards electronic circuits because that'll really let us build lots of really good stuff like fast inserters and get rid of a lot of this duplication where I'm using more than one regular size inserter. So if you've got any ideas on that, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to hear of what <laughs> your corrections, first of all, but also what you think about C-Block and um, how well it compares to like a regular Angels and Bobs playthrough. So if you like the episode, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, etc. And next episode, we'll see you for probably some electronics assembly or maybe even more ore stuff. Uh, in the meantime, again, just as normal, I'm going to go and start feeling like getting more and more and more landfill. Uh, with Long Reach mod, I can just go and grab those and... Well, still not a huge amount, to be honest, so we're going to have to bulk up on that as well. But we are heading out west, uh, sorry, east of here, and there is stuff over here that we can get to. Let's plant on that one. And that, uh, that's our first biters. Um, I'm not sure I want to go in that direction too much, but there is uh, a very bottom left of the screen here, some desert gardens, so we can get some resources from there. 
and we can then process them. There's a whole research chain based on those. Okay, so as always, guys, thanks for watching.